Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm John Becker. Get out and vote. That's the message of our broadcast this morning. Joining us, our regular panelist, Susan Richardson Williams, is a Republican. She runs her own PR firm. Good to have you with us. Good morning, John. Don Bosch, just checking some scores, some bets perhaps. He's a Democrat, <laughs> runs his own Sunday law firm. morning, just watching the church service. You know better. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Don. We appreciate you being here. Our guest this morning is the man who runs elections for this state. Mr. Secretary, Trey Hargett, he's been in that post for close to 15 years since 2009. Always good to see you, Mr. Secretary. And let's start with turnout because it's something this state has struggled with. It's been a message of yours for years. Just in about midway through uh, voting in Knox County, out of every 100 voters who could vote, three have. How do we turn that around in your mind? Yeah, you know, I think one of the things we've got to do is we've got to learn how to disagree without being disagreeable and be willing to encourage people in our spheres of influence to go and vote. Uh, the bottom line is when you don't go vote, what you do is you turn over the keys of power to government to those that do. And until people start realizing that the decisions that are made that affect their everyday lives, both locally at the state level and, and the federal level, that are, those decisions are made by the people who you elect or don't go and vote for, then you know, you get the government you deserve. So people have got to be committed to get people who are limited, these four groups, family members, friends, co-workers, and complete strangers. Outside those four groups, I don't expect you to talk to anybody about getting them to go vote. Mm -hmm. Mr. Secretary, what have we seen that's been effective in other states that have been able to raise their voter turnout? You know, I think what, what really makes the biggest difference is competitive races, honestly. I mean, if you look at the Super Bowl, uh, you know, had a, a very close game between the Chiefs and the 49ers, but yet not a single person tuned in for the referees. They tuned in because they believe it's going to be a close competitive game. And so when things aren't competitive, people tend to think that their vote doesn't matter. So those are the kind of things that I think are really the real drivers of voter turnout is whether or not somebody thinks that their vote could be a deciding vote in a, in a competitive race. What we also need to recognize, your vote may not be the deciding vote in who serves the United States Senate or the President of the United States. But as y'all well know, there have been school board races and judicial races that have ended in ties in recent years. And one congressional race decided by less than one vote per precinct. So, you know, People tend to go and vote when they're passionate about something and, and believe that their vote matters. Yeah, we have seen, as the secretary points out, we've seen ties in our community. Mm -hmm. We've seen people win by 23 votes yeah, for 23. the mayor of Knox, right. Knox County. Don? So, Mr. Secretary, thank you, because I think um, while there have been some disputes about our election process uh, brought up by my side of the, the fence, I think all in all, we do a pretty good job. But what's if we could do one thing better, just one thing better right now, what would be your suggestion as it relates to voting? Because I'll tell you the one thing I see is I actually think we need some more precincts in sort of the underserved areas because I hear some of those people complain that it is difficult for them to drive, it is difficult for them to get out, and I know we've expanded our time, but what would be the one thing you would think we could do to make it better? Well, I think the one thing we could do is I think election administrators out there are doing a fantastic job. They probably need more poll workers. And they could certainly open more precincts if that was the will of the community and what they want to fund. But when you look at what low turnout is, I don't think it's a function of not having enough opportunity to vote. I think if you told people you're giving away free iPhones down there, they come, they come running. But the bottom line is they just don't think their vote is important. And so I think, uh, I think the real burden on getting people out to vote falls to candidates and parties to convince people of why it's important they go vote. You mentioned more poll workers. Have we seen some of the problems that other states have with the threats against poll workers and the intimidation and, and difficulty in recruiting poll workers because of, frankly, safety issues, both real and perceived? Don, that's a great question. We, we haven't seen the issues with threats here in Tennessee, but we are seeing poll worker fatigue. I mean, we are seeing poll workers who are deciding not to come back just because they're tired of being questioned. They're tired of feeling like that they're not trusted. And you're seeing a lot of election administrators around the state, seasoned administrators who are deciding, hey, I, I just can't do another presidential election. And, and so that's the real concern I have is are we going to have enough poll workers to be able to run the elections in August and November? And during the pandemic, we had a record number of people who wanted to come work the polls. 
I'm hoping they're willing to come and, and work this one with us. Just on that point, Mr. Secretary, you can be paid as a poll worker. That's something a lot of people don't know. You are paid. And in fact, we've done we've been very successful in a lot of communities of getting high school students to come out, 15 to 16 year olds to come and work the polls as well. And frankly, they bring a lot of life and energy into the polls. We're trying to create the next generation of poll workers. So it's not just volunteer work. I mean, you are paid for the time that you help the Election Commission run these elections. Uh, Mr. Secretary, in my mail today was this poster that was sent out by your office that basically encourages everyone to register to vote if they haven't and to also vote in the Super Tuesday. Um, I got a letter from you as well with some good tips, I think. Um, who do these go out to? I'm just curious, do they go to every business in Tennessee or? No, not, not every business. I have to tell you, we, we work with, you know, the Nashville, we got a, a list from Nashville Business Journal, the Memphis Business Journal, uh, we use, and the Knoxville Business Journal. We use other lists from around the state to try and get business leaders who we felt like had strong spheres of influence because let's face it people don't just go vote because they think the secretary of state thinks they should they go because a family member or a friend or someone in their sphere of influence encouraged them to so we're trying to get business leaders and community leaders out there to encourage those in their sphere of influence to go and exercise their right to vote so well, secretary well, Hargett, i'll bring it up uh you know I'm democrat knox county i don't think i have one of those in my mailbox was there any partisan analysis of who those went to well, absolutely not. I mean, you know, last time I checked, when I when I look at the Nashville Business Journal, Memphis Business Journal, and others, you know, they don't list party affiliation uh, on those lists. Don, I, I'm sorry. I certainly didn't mean to slight you. I'll send you extras so you can pass them <laughs> so out. He needs one will um, suffice, you know, because I believe everybody should vote, no matter which party they choose to vote in. He will spread the word. Uh, Mr. Secretary, hang with us. We've got to take a quick break. We're going to talk about election integrity. That's a question a lot of people have. We touched on it, danced around it. We'll get to it right after this short break. Mm -hmm. 